If you're watching this kind of content, something on my channel or something similar, you've probably taken in a lot of information over the last little while, right? What I like to talk about is things that I find very, very deep and meaningful and things that can help me produce more in my life. And this could be money, it could be relationships, it could be anything, right? It could be anything. Just, just a better life in general, right? Just becoming the best version of myself, which means enjoying this life as much as possible. But what I'm getting at is if you've consumed a lot of content, there's a lot in there, right? And you can't put anything, you can't, nothing can come out of your mouth that hasn't gone into your ears, right? Like it's very difficult to produce something out of nothing. Like it, it, it's, you have this content that's around you and you can kind of synthesize it in different ways and it allows you to produce ideas and thoughts and things like that. Now, and of course we get a philosophical debates all day about whether or not you know, that's true. But for sake of argument, let, let's take that as true. So what I want to let you know today is that if you have all this information, you are in a position to share it. And maybe you are, and that's awesome, especially if you have good ideas or good tactics or good things that are helping people move forward in their life, right? That's awesome. But this is where it can begin to drain you. It begins to drain you when you're trying to lead a horse to water and then force it to drink. Okay, so Maybe you know the old saying that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. The idea here is that you can tell people advice that you've learned, and you should. It's really cool and really helpful when you have something that you just find so meaningful, and you might even have results to show, right? You might look great because you have this gym tip that's like just kept you consistent for the last 10 years, and so you look insane and ripped and jacked and whatever, right? And that's a tip that's like really helpful to other people, and so you're excited and you want to share it with the people you care about. However, most people have a hard time implementing advice, okay? So don't get discouraged when you share some of the stuff that you've learned. It could be about diet, about life optimization, about making money, any of this stuff. And the people you care about don't take action maybe the way you do, right? It's because people enjoy hearing advice, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they enjoy it to the point that they're going to implement it. They might think they will, right? The same way as, you know, you can be sitting on a couch and you're watching a documentary of this dude who like, hiked Mount Everest, right? Or maybe you've seen Free Solo, right? That video of this guy climbing up freaking, I think it's Yosemite Mountain, Yosemite National Park, I think. Um, anyway, he's climbing this thing like bare hand, no, no harness, nothing. And you might think to yourself, there are, of course, there are the sane people out there that think, wow, that's crazy. Like, thank God I'm watching this from my couch, right? Then there are the insane people, of course, you know who you are, who are thinking, I would like to do something like that one day. Like, I don't, I want to do something insane. Like, I want to hike Everest or you know, I want to, I want to free solo Yosemite, or maybe I just want to run a marathon or a half marathon or around the block, right? The point is, is that when we talk about these, this really like these really ambitious goals, these really, really ambitious goals, sometimes it's just, it just feels so good to talk about it and it feels so good to imagine being that person, but you don't ever actually take action. And the, re the reality is that's most people with most goals. And why is advice beneficial? Typically, because it's helpful towards a goal for the most part, right? You're trying to improve something or you're trying to have less of something or whatever, right? Advice, generally speaking, is useful because you're in position A, you'd like to get to position B and the advice is kind of a bridge or at least it presents itself as a bridge or helps you walk the bridge between A and B. But the thing is, is that some people just don't like to actually walk the bridges. And so if you're someone who has a lot of information and you're actually you know, a go-getter or you're someone who takes the advice that you get a lot or you implement the advice that you have a lot, then it can be very frustrating when there's someone that you care about who's just so unwilling to take that advice. But that's okay. Don't get frustrated. Don't get, you know, don't get annoyed. I used to all the time. I used to all the time. But now I kind of realize that unless someone really, really seeks me out for advice about whatever it might be, right? It could be something to do with work, right? It could be something to do with lifestyle. It could be something to do with language learning, which is something I'm very passionate about. More on that coming soon. Um, don't worry. Like, I don't, I don't, if someone doesn't really seek me out, I'm not really concerned about sharing the advice. You know, I'll say it if it's relevant, but I realize that sometimes the advice, actually most times the advice you're giving is for the sake of conversation. It's not for the sake of implementation, which is a shame because you're speaking, the position you're speaking from is, hey, implement this and you'll get from A to B. You'll cross that bridge or here is the bridge, right? But in their mind, they're just the person on the couch watching this guy free solo Yosemite thinking, wow, that's really cool. I'd like to do that one day. And that's as far as it goes. It's a movie that gave them a feeling that maybe I want to do it one day. And if you think about it, part of the experience of watching the movie is having that thought, wow, like I could imagine me doing that one day, but that doesn't mean they're actually going to do it. So consider that when you're giving advice, part of that conversation is them maybe looking like they're going to go along with it, you know, and then you might follow up in a week or two weeks and 
they haven't done anything. Even though they've asked you for help on a very specific thing, you have an answer, you've given it to them, and they just kind of refuse to implement it. It can be very, very frustrating. Um, but don't lose any steam, don't lose any energy over it. Okay? So I'm going to leave you there, and I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation, and so what you can become, you must become.